as a farmer in Missouri, uh, I see no benefit to right to farm. If this amendment passes, I see a great deal of damage that can come by allowing more and more CAFOs to come into our state of Missouri. I encourage everyone, both farmers and people that they're not involved in agricultural agriculture, to vote against the right to farm amendment coming up. Uh, the lobbyist groups that are supporting this right to farm amendment are um, industrial agriculture. They are not small family farms. There's an enormous amount of money coming from, an out, from outside sources to push this, uh, this uh, ballot initiative. I don't see one single instance where this right to farm amendment can help the small farmer. I see a great deal of help coming for the CAFO operators in this right to farm amendment if it passes. We already have CAFOs in Missouri and they're growing uh, with Smithfield uh, meats and, and uh, being an out of, and even out, not even an out of state buyer of Missouri farm ground, but, a, but a, um, an operator from China now is in Missouri operating on Missouri farm ground under a CAFO. Um, this, this amendment, uh, that if it passes, will, I believe, is by design, will make it easier, maybe uh, almost unimpeded um, restrictions, lim very, very limited um, pathway to, pr to promote, perpetuate even more CAFOs across the state of Missouri. I believe that is the, the reason behind it. The guys that are for right to farm, in a, in a sound bite situation, they're going to come off really well. But get them in a position where they have to defend what they're really doing, they can get, they'll get hammered. You don't, you don't have to know anything about farming to answer the right, to ask them questions that will demoralize their system. There is nothing, I can't see anything in the amendment that helps the small family farm. We are, we, we, we've, we've already got an unalienable right to farm here in Missouri. We've got it even on top of that, we've got a specified uh, um, in legal terms, the right to farm in Missouri. This adding another uh, legal uh, precedent um, does, do, does absolutely nothing for um, us small family farms. Let's don't waste our time on this type of legislation. The legislature have got a lot of, lot of very important things to be doing, working on things that really matter and that can benefit the state and, it's, and the people in the state.